Good morning, and welcome to today's reflection from Christchurch. On Saturday morning at our prayer time, I felt led to share a number of verses all relating to trust in God. Then on Sunday, the intercessions at the 1030 service were punctuated by the same thought, trust in God. And then just to hammer home the point, the sermon was about where do we put our trust? What do we let control our lives? Do we trust in our success, our wealth, our position, our families? Or do we trust in God? All of which meant that I felt compelled to share some of those thoughts and verses on trusting God in this reflection. And I want to start with a couple of verses from Proverbs 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. For me, this verse, or these verses, was always and can still be a great temptation. My background conditioning was always one of taking control of each and every situation because, quote, I understood, unquote. When I became a Christian, I had to learn to let go of that way of thinking. But it hasn't been easy, and I can still fall into that temptation. There's a common phrase uh, that we hear, let go and let God. But it's not as simple as that. Letting go needs to be a positive act, not a giving up. Letting go and letting God means we positively acknowledge that everything of meaning that we say or do is only through God's strength, through his power in us. The things we are to do, we do by the power of God in not, and not in our own strength, not in our own understanding. And the truth is that working at letting go is, is just as much uh, an effort-filled work as anything else we try to do for God, and not nearly as easy to do as some things are. So the first thought, don't trust in ourselves, but trust in God. Then there is Psalm 68. Preserve my life, for I am godly. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for to you do I cry all the day. This is a plea from the psalmist for help. A plea made because the writer trusts God, has spent time studying God's words and promises. Trusting in God means both that I stop leaning on my own understanding and I start leaning wholly on him. Trusting in God means that I'm not to be afraid or embarrassed to call out to him for help. It's not a sign of weakness, but a sign of faith. 1 Chronicles 5 verse 20 says, and when they prevailed over them, the Hagrites and all who were with them were given into their hands, for they cried out to God in the battle, and he granted their urgent plea, because they trusted in him. Trust in him to deliver us from whatever it is that we're facing. Psalm 62 verse 8 encourages us. Trust in him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. There was just one other verse, also from the Old Testament, that I wanted to share. Psalm 20, verse 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Some trust in chariots. Some trust in their wealth or their intellectual ability or family connections. Some trust in political power or skills of persuasion. But the only lasting answer is to trust in God. To trust in the one who is prepared to suffer and die for us. To take the burdens of our failures, of our sin. To take the pain of rejection 
and to overcome all and rise again so that we might have life. And I just wanted to, to close with another thought, which may be a bit uncomfortable. Jesus trusted in God's will. In the Garden of Gethsemane, he knelt down and prayed, saying, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. I guess this is a perfect reminder that there will be times when trusting God comes at a cost. But it is the only way. Trusting God is our true hope, our only hope for life. I've used a phrase before in these reflections. God doesn't make mistakes. And that is something else we can trust. Let's pray. Lord God, take my heart, my desires, my life, and transform them to make me a stronger follower of yours, trusting you in all things and not relying on my own understanding. Help me grow in my relationship with you and help me to trust you more and more in all circumstances. Help me on this journey, Lord. Help me to connect to you more and more each day. Amen. The song I've chosen is I Will Trust by Elevation Worship. Although it was a close call between that and Stuart Townend's I Will Trust in You Alone. Have a great week. God bless.